Welcome to the Ocean County Library's self-care series for teens. My name is Michelle and I am a teen librarian for the Ocean County Library. This video is houseplants and self-care. Horticultural therapy has been defined as the use of plants and plant-based activity for the purpose of human healing and rehabilitation. Established in the early 19th century by Dr. Benjamin Rush, a physician and early psychiatrist, Rush documented the benefits of working with plants for his patients at his Philadelphia clinic. It has been used for centuries, but more recently the therapy is seeing a revival especially with people that have experienced trauma or mental health issues. For example, in Scotland, doctors prescribe taking long walks in nature. But what if we brought nature to us? Winter can be a tough time for people, especially with getting outside and going on such a walk. I tend to spend winter months indoors, but it is definitely has an effect on my well-being mentally, physically, and emotionally. I started keeping houseplants around 2013. There are a lot of lessons in caring for houseplants and I learned my first one rather quickly after neglecting a plant until it eventually died. The first lesson was that like any other living thing, there is a cycle of life. It was still upsetting so I tried harder and I did better. Self-care includes trying harder and doing better too. And very simply, taking care of my plants serves as a reminder to take care of myself even something as simple as maybe I should also have a glass of water. Some things I do to take care of my plants are all reflections of self-care. If a plant is getting too big for its pot, I need to repot it so its roots have room to continue to spread and grow. For me, this translates to letting go or moving on from a situation that no longer serves me. If I need to grow, I can't do it being confined to a small pot. There is also the ritual of taking care of my plants. It is a welcome distraction from my anxieties and overthinking. I also can't hold a watering can and my cell phone in one hand. It is a time for me to unplug and recenter. And if someone finds a ritual to be good for them, taking care of plants can create focus and routine. And we practice self-care so that we can be and feel better and that good energy goes out into our outside lives. Before we can have a ritual though, we have to notice that the plants need care. This creates mindfulness. Being aware and practicing mindfulness is a self-care method in itself. But my favorite thing of all is that the caring for my plants has become a physical meditation for me. I don't need to carve out additional time to meditate because for myself, caring for my plants serves as my own type of meditation and self-care is exactly that, what someone wants to define it as for them. When we take care of a living thing, we watch it grow and we feel the reward and benefit of the care that we so carefully invest in. Seeing a plant flower or grow a new shoot is a wonderful feeling and if you want to find out for yourself, go get your first houseplant or refocus on the houseplants you may already have. New things are nice and produce short time gratification, but when we put effort and care into something, the gratification can turn to gratitude and it is a much more sustainable gift to feel. The last thing that I want to share is this lady palm. This is the first plant that I ever bought in 2013. It is quite dry sometimes and there are plenty of brown spots on her, but it's still alive and it keeps going. And it reminds me that no plant is perfect and no one is perfect, but we all still deserve care. So thank you for joining me on your own journey of self-care and for showing up for yourself today. Support public libraries. Like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.